Hi. Hi, it's Weed from Week on Wargaming here, uh, discussing Vince Ventrola's topic of the week, which is on Endless Spells. It's excellent timing because uh, we are on the eve of Age of Sigmar 2, and uh, Endless Spells, I think, are probably going to be the biggest, if not the second biggest, uh, change from Age of Sigmar 1 to Age of Sigmar 2. Second biggest, maybe command points. But I feel I'm a feeling Endless Spells are going to have a bigger impact overall. Uh, so... Definitely very excited to see uh, the impact of Endless Spells in terms of how many people actually end up using them and which ones do people gravitate towards. Um, I'm really thinking that Wizards are going to become very strong in this edition. I mean, certainly lots of people said that, but it um, gives me a little bit of pause because I play this game in Pestilence and unfortunately uh, we only got the Burm Lord and that's not that great. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Um, anyhow, my favorite uh, Endless Spell so far has got to be the Gnashing Jaws, for sure. I mean, those, the model itself, I just, I looked at, I picked it up, and I was like, this thing is hilarious. I mean, I love it. So, um, how could I not choose the Gnashing Jaws? Uh, the Tornado of uh, Hammers, also hilarious. I mean, it's ridiculous. But uh, it's ridiculous in a way that I could appreciate. And uh, definitely when you have a giant purple spiky uh, skull ball rolling around, anything else is really, it's, it's all fair game. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so, and especially since it looks like there's going to be, like, faction-specific endless balls, right? Like, I mean, the Night Haunt stuff just came out. And so um, once they do those Skaven, though, I'll be all over it. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, though. Uh, yeah, so that that's basically my response. Um, looking forward to it, and I'll say uh, best gaming to everybody. Thanks.